Hey, and welcome to the first Dash Fight Weekly Update, where we round up all the big news that happened in the world of fighting games. So much happened over the past week that it's almost overwhelming. So let's not waste any time. I'm your host, Aria from TBS. Let's hop into this. First of all, the Good 8 Squad won the Street Fighter League Japan. This team had some real killers on it, with EVO 2022 winner Kawano, Pugera, Gachikun, and Dogura. As you can imagine though, they had some stiff competition from star players like Nemo and Shuto on Kumamoto's Saishun Kansol, or Daigo and Fudo on Nagoya Oja. Eventually, it all came down to a match between Pugera's Boxer and Nemo's Yurian, with Pugera clutching it out. As the winners of the competition, the Good 8 squad will be Japan's representative to take on the winner of Street Fighter League USA and Europe next month at Capcom Cup. Speaking of which, the British team Maus, with Problem X, Broski, The Four Fills, and Shax won Street Fighter League Europe. The French team, BMS, with Mr. Crimson, Kills You, TKR, and Link Excello were considered favorites to win, being top of the league. BMS were also on the home side and had an advantage in that the away team had to reveal their lineup and character selection before games started. This gives the home team a chance to counterpick the opponent. Maus, however, won the first two sets, meaning there was no need for a third. And over in the United States, Team UYU with NL, Oil King, Xian, and DCQ won Street Fighter League USA. This was again another upset, as in the past, UIU hadn't performed too well. Just two seasons ago, UIU, with Oil King as captain, didn't win a single game, and last season, they didn't fare too well either. UIU had to go through Endemic and CLG, who were also incredibly impressive, defeating defending champions and tournament favorites, NASR Bandits. So, big congratulations to Good 8 Squad from Japan, Maus from Europe, and UIU from the USA will all be facing each other at the Street Fighter League World Championships in about a week. And over in Chicago over the weekend, we had Frosty Faustings 15, another installment of the renowned fighting game convention with lots of high-level performances. There were so many games, but just to name a few of the champions... In Tekken 7, Azure with Lucky Chloe. In Guilty Gear Strife, Tempest NYC with Leo. In DNF Duel, Kubo with Grappler. In Mortal Kombat 11, Aztec with Kotal Khan. In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Riddles with Kazuya. In The King of Fighters 15, Lassid with Meiten Kun, Shermi, and Ash. And in Street Fighter 5, Just a Kid with Jury. As mentioned, Frosty Faustings is huge, and that was just a small sample of all the winners. Big congratulations to everyone, and a massive shout out to the tournament organizers for running another excellent event. During Frosty Faustings 15, the main six team also introduced Stronghoof as the second additional character for them's fighting herds. In the debut footage, this character uses various types of medieval ice weapons. Stronghoof will be included in the season pass and sold separately for $5 later this year in spring. Capcom announced that Street Fighter V surpassed 7 million copies in sales worldwide. Street Fighter V initially got off to a bit of a rough start with a very bare-bones release, but it's clear that Capcom have learned from their mistakes in many ways here, as Street Fighter VI really seems like the complete package. Capcom are also pulling out all the stops in terms of marketing, even going so far as to feature a crossover with the WWE. Zelina Vega, aka Taya Trinidad, a renowned WWE star and cosplayer, joined the roster of Street Fighter VI casters for the real-time commentary feature. She also cosplayed as Jury at Royal Rumble, and even reenacted part of her critical art. As it stands, Street Fighter VI is poised to be massive, and we couldn't be more excited. Live drawing for the upcoming Capcom Cup 9 group stages happened on the 2nd of February by Rob TV and FGC legend Alex Valle. There are currently 46 players in the draw, with the 47th player joining one of the last groups once the LCQ takes place. The draws weren't as random as people feared as the regions were separated, meaning that players from the same region can't eliminate one another. Registration for the upcoming CEO 2023 is now live, which takes place between the 23rd and 25th of June. There will be 12 main games available and a handful of retro tournaments. The biggest news is that CEO will feature Street Fighter VI, 
and could well be the first big tournament to feature Capcom's upcoming flagship. Sadly, the premier Irish fighting game convention, Celtic Throwdown, announced that the event won't return this year or beyond. The news comes at a bad time with a lot of major titles on the horizon. Nevertheless, there's a lot of great talent in the Irish FGC, so we're sure they'll endure. Red Bull Golden Letters is set to happen again on March 4th and 5th in the Red Bull Gaming Sphere London. Once again, four players have been invited to participate in the event directly, with Anakin, Nii, JDCR, and the Golden Letter champion, Ayo Ritchie, all coming to London on March 4th and 5th to compete. This was a really exciting event the first time around, so we can't wait to see it again. Over the weekend, the Brawlhalla Winter Championship singles took place across five main regions. Europe demonstrated the power of Tezka. No one could stop Machete with this newest character. Asuri totally dominated in South America. Four of top eight competitors played her, including the champion Kaina. In Australia, as Modi proved to be as strong as the year before. In Southeast Asia, Himwai showed the relevance of the original legend, Bodva, on the modern competitive scene. And in North America, Radish gave a dominating performance with Petra. The 2v2 matches of the Winter Championship will happen soon on February 11th and 12th, so stay tuned to Dash Fight for those recaps. The long-awaited Tekken World Tour Finals 2022 took place in Amsterdam during the weekend, with a couple of big upsets and quite unexpected results, such as favorites Ni nee and Arslan Ash being knocked out in the group stages. Atif Butt won the whole thing with Akuma in the end, with a convincing win against John Ding's Eddie and Julia in the Grand Finals. A special shout-out also has to go to Girlanda, who made it through the dreaded Group A, beat Nobby in dramatic fashion, and place an impressive four. Though, so, since he uses Katarina, I guess 44444 was only fitting. And finally, we got a massive 35 minute presentation going into detail on Tekken 8 gameplay mechanics, particularly the heat system, which is poised to make Tekken 8 the most aggressive entry in the franchise. We also got a glimpse of Nina Williams rocking a cool new spy-inspired outfit, as well as announcements of a closed alpha test at EVO Japan 2023 and the Tekken World Tour 2023, which will presumably be the last for Tekken 7. Thanks so much for tuning into this week's Dash Fight News. Please be sure to subscribe for more. This has been Arya from TBS, wishing you an excellent day.